Have you ever wondered about the untold stories behind the inventions that shaped our world? Today, we delve into the mysterious events of May 20th, 1924, at the Robinson factory. A day of invention, intrigue, and a dash of ketchup. It starts with a curious conversation between Edwin Benton and Raymond Nestor. Edwin, puzzled, questions why Thomas Edison hasn't been by the factory. Raymond, equally bewildered, agrees, and then queries Edwin about the safety of the Lock Robin suit, a revolutionary piece of technology and development. Edwin, unsure of the suit's safety, admits that he doesn't know. Raymond, persistent, asks if Edwin has tested the Lock Robin suit yet. Edwin, with a hint of reluctance, confesses that the testing responsibility falls on Percy Short. With Raymond rushing off to class, Edwin decides to call Percy, who, despite it being his day off, agrees to test the Lock Robin suit. A Robin burger, and an hour later, Percy is ready for the test. But then, the unexpected happens. The suit fails. Edwin, seemingly unaffected, cleans up and continues his day. Raymond, returning, notices something unusual about Edwin. His hand is red. Edwin, quick to dismiss Raymond's concern, claims it's just ketchup. But Raymond knows better. Edwin hates ketchup. Edwin insists he needs clean hands, and Raymond agrees, but not without noticing something more concerning. Percy Short is missing. So what exactly transpired in the Robinson factory that day? A failed test, a mysterious red hand, and a missing Percy Short. Each event, a puzzle piece in the intricate narrative of the Lock Robin suit's creation. As we examine this piece of history, we're left with more questions than answers. What happened to Percy Short? What was the meaning behind the red hand? And most importantly, how did these events contribute to the development of the Lock Robin suit? Every invention has a story, and today, we've begun to unravel the fascinating tale of the Lock Robin suit. A tale of innovation, mystery, and a dash of ketchup.